Hello, I'm Matthew and Way here. In this video, I'll be reviewing and analyzing Titans Season 2, which is current on HBO Max. I'll go over several topics that I saw in this season. I want to say thank you for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Still need more help to get to 4,000 watch hours so that I can be monetized by YouTube. I also have a new goal of getting to 2,000 subscribers on this channel and need help to get there. Now on with the review. The season starts off with how the first season ended with Trigon using the Bane of the Titans against them to make them his army. They all had tragedy that happened to them and uses as a means of controlling them. It does make sense as anyone knows people have things that happen to them and it is never good. It takes Rachel aka Raven to defeat her father Trigon to stop him from carrying out his plan to cover the world in darkness. Rose shows up in the second episode to this season and this starts off with her arc in this season. She will become a major character down the road. Slade Wilson aka Deathstroke was teased to the viewer at the end of the first episode of this season. As the viewer knows Deathstroke is not only a Batman villain but is a villain in the Titans. This was shown in Teen Titans Go to the Movies which was released in 2018. Rose claims that she was being chased by her father, but this is shown not to be so. As this was the case, it was a misdirect, by the way. Dick Grayson feels sorry for her and takes her to Titan's Tower. Dick is training the Titans in martial arts and shows them how they must fight. They must be able to fight even when they lose their eyes. This makes sense. What if you lose your senses? You must be able to hang on. It regresses later and it flashes back to 2014 when Aqualad was alive. Aqualad was killed by a slave, but as the viewer realizes he was not the target. The woman who Donna Troy aka Wonder Girl knew was the target. This season had twists and turns and that made it fun to say the least. The viewer meets Jericho, Deathstroke's son who can possess people and he later finds out his father was killing people for money. Deathstroke is a mercenary who works for money and that is who he is. No matter if the viewer watches the Arrowverse or this series, Deathstroke usually wants to flip pain and sack his revenge. As the viewer learns as the season progresses, Dick Grayson is carrying this pain. He wanted Deathstroke to kill him instead of Jason Todd so that Jason did not have to pay for his sins. Dick thought he made a mistake. Connor later saves Jason as he was teased in the first season of this series. He was the one the viewer saw in the last episode of Breaking Out of Cadmus Lab, which was the season finale of season one. As the viewer knows and sees that Corey Anders, aka Starfire, was taken by a man that was her bodyguard and had a crush on her. Corey is royalty and must return to her planet to stop Blackfire. Reason I say she's royalty because she's a princess of that world and she must become the queen of that world to say the least. Blackfire is her sister and, and is jealous of her. Blackfire wants the throne and takes it from her. It is not unusual for families of royal blood to fight amongst themselves and want power or wealth for themselves. Just because you're related doesn't mean you don't necessarily take someone out just to have that money and power and wealth or anything else you want as well because that's just when you have power and wealth especially those two things are very corrupting and it corrupts you. Dick goes to prison as he feels after revealing this lie to the group and what Slade tells him that you must pay for your crimes. Dick decides that he must go there to face judgment and make amends for what he has done. Dick f finds out that th this is not the case and must become who he is meant to be. This will lead him to becoming Nightwing. The group must deal with their sins and issues and must realize that those things do not define them and overcome them. Each character has screwed up and, but must find a way to not let those groups define them. I give Titans Season 2 a 10 out of 10. I thought it was well done and like I said in my last review of this series in my live video that I did back on February 7, 2022. I have been impressed how good it has been so far. It had the feel that the viewer expects to see in these characters. It helps to show how our sins can be forgiven if we let them. 
before ending this video, I will let you know that there will be questions in the community tab of this channel page. It will ask you what basketball movies or TV series you like me to view as each person that is watching this video knows is that the NCAA tournament is coming soon and it will make sense to ask you these questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos that come on the channel at the bottom of this video. Please let me know what books, movies, and TV shows you'd like to review next in the comment section below. Please share this video with your friends and family so my channel can grow. Thank you and have a wonderful day.